So for this example, we are back to our softball team, the Jets. And it says, as coach of the Jets, your school team is invited to a tournament in Lexington, Kentucky. 24 high school teams must be assigned to three different practice fields, with eight teams assigned to each field. Six of the teams are from Lexington. If the teams are assigned at random, what is the probability that there will be two teams from Lexington on each of the three fields? And again, this is very similar to the, uh, to the previous example, the swimming competition, where swimmers are going to be assigned to different heats and different lanes. It's the same idea. So we have 24 high school teams here. We have three different fields. So therefore, there's going to be eight teams per field. And then we have six of the teams are from Lexington. And we want to know what is the probability that two teams from Lexington are assigned to each of the fields. Again, these examples are to get you to think about what's going on before we go ahead and we apply the, uh, the mathematics. So what I'm going to do is here's my first field assignment. And again, don't forget, as we calculate these probabilities, it's A over B, where B is our sample space. So for our first field assignment here, how many different ways can we assign the teams to the first field? Well, there are 24 teams and we're going to randomly choose eight of them. That's how many different ways it can occur. That's our sample space. Our event now is that two of the six teams from Lexington have to be assigned to this field. So that's six. Choose two. And then you got all the other teams. So that gives us 18. Choose six. And of course, if we look at our subscripts here, six and 18, that's 24, and two and six, that's eight. So this is the probability of two teams from Lexington being, signed, being assigned to the first field. And we'll just leave it like that for now. To the second field, our sample space, we already assigned eight teams, so now we have 16. Choose eight. We already assigned two of the teams from Lexington. We now have four choose two. And we already assigned six of the teams of the other, of the other uh, softball teams. So that leaves us with 12 choose six. So here's the chance of the remaining Lexington uh, teams to be assigned to the second field. Then we'll do the third field. Again, our sample space is going to be eight teams left, eight choose eight. We've already assigned two from Lexington here, two from here. We only have two left. That's two choose two. And of course, we have six choose six of the other teams. Now, before we do any of this, logic should tell you that since there's only one field left, there's only one way to assign the rest of the teams. And of course, eight choose eight, that's one. Two choose two, that's one. Six choose six, that's one. One times one over one. There's only one way that that can occur. So now all I have to do is go to my calculator and we'll slug all of this in. I'll do the uh, first field assignment here. Six, choose two, times 18, choose six. And then I'll just divide that by 24, choose eight, and hit enter. So that's approximately 0.3786. We do the same for the uh, second field assignment. Four, choose two, times 12, 
two six, and we'll divide that by sixteen. Choose eight. That's point four three oh eight. So if there's so many field assignments here, or the probability of the field assignment is this, there's so many field assignments here, or the probability of the field assignment being this, and there's so many field assignments here, or the probability of it being this, what is the probability altogether? And according to the fundamental counting principle, we just multiply. So we do that, 0.3786 times 0 0.4308 and that comes out to be approximately 16.31 percent. So if the teams are assigned at random, what is the probability that there will be two teams from Lexington on each of the three fields? 16.31 percent.